Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel technology and in this session I will show you guys how to install Hyper-V on your Windows 10 computer. So as you know Hyper-V formerly known as Windows Server Virtualization by which you can run only Windows Server machine. But in this video I will show you guys how you can install Hyper-V on Windows 10 computer. So you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more update. So without wasting any time let's start the video. So at first you need to go to your start menu and search here control panel also you can go through your run box also just open your run pressing windows and r button together after that here you need to put control panel and after that press enter or click on ok from here so now you will get a skin like this so you have to uh, select a category from from here and after that you have to go to the programs then here you will get one option is called turn windows uh, features on or off so you have to click over there and after that as you can see one windows features dialog box automatically uh, comes on my screen so now here you need to find you have to find the hyper v option from here and after that you have to check this option okay so now you have to click on ok and when it's done so you have to uh, go to your start menu again and type here cmd and after that you need to right click over there and click on run as administrator and after that click on ok and here you need to put some commands so i will give you these commands on my video description so you can copy from there so just open the uh, your command prompt and after that you have to copy this one and you have to click on it okay so uh, it's not as you can see it's not working from here so what I have to do is you need to op open the power cell from your computer and just uh, uh, type here power and after that you will get the, this option so you have to right click over there on the windows uh, power cell and after that run as administrator administrator so after that you have to run all these commands on your power cell so I will show you how to do that just click on so as you can see it's showing enable windows optional features microsoft hyper b so it's uh, it uh, showing me to do you want to restart your computer so right now i'm pressing n because i don't want to restart it now so after that you have to um, uh, copy paste this command also over there and after that press enter from your keyboard and again you will get that screen that you want to do it on to restart your computer so you have to press yes on there because i have already installed so i am not going to restart my computer right now so you have to restart after uh, put both the commands okay so after that you have to go to your start menu again and after restart you have to type here over there hyper v and here you will get one option is called hyper v manager so you have to uh, uh, open this hyper v manager on your computer so now as you can see so you have to uh, right click on your desktop from here and after that click on new and after that here you will create a virtual machine so you have to click on virtual machine and after that you have to select your uh, new virtual machine like i will set uh, windows or you can set whatever you want uh, after that from here you can set your architecture version so if you are using uh, 64 b then just go to your my computer and right click over there and click on properties and here you will get your system uh, architecture version is uh, x64 based processor as you can see so that's the that's the reason i'm choosing here a uh, 64 bit case operating system you can also choose this option whatever you want so uh, after that you have to click on next now you have to set up your memory how much memory you want to uh, spend with your virtual machine like your ram so set here 2 gb that's enough so now uh, you can set uh, your connection network type from here after that click on next and then from here you have to choose your uh, uh, choose your location 
and after that click on next and then here you need to uh, search your your ISO file which one you want to install on your virtual machine after that click on next then finish so now as you can see it's configuring and after that you will able to run your uh, windows uh, any virtual machine on your on hyper-v so i hope this video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and like button and share button and if you have any queries or questions then comments below and i will see you guys next one take care